Not uncommon for rescue groups to take in dogs from across the country, especially after things like natural disasters. But for the first time, a Twin Cities rescue group is taking in strays from across the world, all the way from the streets of Istanbul. Fox 9's Rob Olson here to tell us more about it. And Rob, these dogs do in uh, tomorrow night, I guess. Huh? Yeah, they are. They're going to get to the Twin Cities at about 10 o'clock on Friday night, driven here by 13 volunteers who'll be waiting for their touchdown in a Chicago in a cargo plane, rather, in Chicago. Now, there's a gigantic stray dog population in Turkey. It's pretty stunning, actually. And among them, purebred golden retrievers who can much easier find homes here. Lay down. Lay down. Atta boy. In the ranks of four-legged friends, Golden Retrievers reign as the third most popular breed in the U.S. They're great family dogs. I mean, if you're raising kids, you can't ask for a better companion. But it's a far different story, half a world away. Well, this is our first international rescue, so this is huge. Stephanie Perry's with Retrieve a Golden of Minnesota, or RAGOM, a rescue group that's now bringing in 15 Golden Retrievers from Istanbul, Turkey. They'll be driven to the Twin Cities Friday night after they fly them into Chicago. Yep, they need passports, which one wouldn't necessarily think for dogs, but each is coming over with their own health certificate and passport. But these emigrating Goldens only scratch the surface. A web search of dogs in Turkey and you find headlines and pictures of a massive stray population estimated at 50,000. There are YouTube videos dedicated to how many dogs roam the streets and what poor shape they're in. Among them are purebred Goldens, the cast-offs of a fad about a decade ago. And now that they're no longer seen as this elite symbol, there, they estimate that there's over 500 purebred golden retrievers roaming the streets of Istanbul at any given time in the forests as well. The first rescue of Goldens from Turkey came in May by a retriever rescue group out of Atlanta. They've since brought in two more groups for a total of 75 dogs. They reached out to Ragum and asked if we would want to help and we absolutely said we wanted to, so we started coordinating this mission in June. So Ragom started fundraising and finding foster homes and adoptees, and finally appropriate new names, like Winona and Ely and Afton. Just thought they were cute names they had to do with Minnesota. <laughs> Cute names. There's also Prince and Mary Tyler Moore, and uh, on that note, Baxter, too, which would be good for Randy, I think. Baxter's good. Yeah, you'd, I like yeah, Baxter. If you'd like to help them cover the cost of the rescue, by the way, they're still raising money for this and future ones. We've got a link on our website, uh, to their website and ours on fox9.com. They hope to bring over another group of Turkish golden retrievers this coming spring. Hmm. Randy. You have to teach them English, right? They are starting to learn English, actually. They're, they're teaching them English phrases now, the go. ones that they need to know, but it might help if the adoptees learn some Turkish, too. <laughs> Just for the transition yeah. period. Thanks, Robbie. You bet.